looking for the new baby. Welcome to the beautiful Pacific Northwest. We're Ingrid and Jim, a couple seeking new adventures aboard our 37-foot sailboat, Indigo. this morning, Shil Shul, Wednesday the 9th, and we're heading up to Matt's Matt's. <laughs> and 10 knot winds out of the north, so uh, we need to get off the dock so I can take my conference call. <laughs> <laughs> channel into Matt's Matt's Bay has a depth of just five feet at zero tide. We timed our entrance for a plus seven high tide giving us a minimum 12 feet for our six and a half foot draft. Two lighted range markers and several well-placed channel markers helped to navigate the narrow entrance. Matt's Matt's Bay was originally leased from the state to an oyster farm. When the oyster farm went out of business, the bay eventually ended up being deeded equally to the surrounding property owners, with property lines meeting at the center of the bay. It may actually be the only private bay in the state of Washington, but cruisers are welcome to anchor here for up to five nights. Just find a clear spot of the many private mooring malls and watch your depth. Some areas are charted at just three feet. Most of the bay is eight to 12 feet. Your reward? A beautiful, calm, quiet hurricane hole, completely protected from the Puget Sound. from the Matt's Matt's Quarry built much of Seattle, including the breakwater guarding Indigo's home, Shil Shul Marina.
So how is it out there? It's calm, it's nice. I saw a um, beautiful crane and a little seal was following me. That was the sunny, happy part of our San Juan's trip. Little did we know what lay in store for us starting the next morning. Ten-foot swells, fog, smoke, narrows, no wind, and getting stranded on an island for four days. Tragic fires and smoke is filling our atmosphere and the whole west coast is burning up. 